Today, I want to talk about the five common mistakes and probably frequently asked questions about using the Lumi Spa. If you want to make sure you get the best experience out of your Lumi Spa, this video is for you. Hi, my name is William and I am an anti-aging coach who help adults over 30 to look and feel young again through science-based skincare and supplements. If you are new to my channel and are into anti-aging health and skincare topics, do consider subscribing as I upload new videos on Fridays and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Also, do follow me on Instagram for more contents that I wouldn't post here on YouTube when available links to cited articles are provided in the description below. I've talked about the Lumi Spa countless times in my previous videos. It is a dual action silicone based facial cleansing device that not only effectively clean your face off makeup and sunscreen, it also has a face lifting massaging effect while at it. It depends on what is your take on a facial cleansing device. Some people say, use your hands are good enough, but hey, I love my Lumi Spa and so do many of my clients who have seen great results using it. So I respect your opinion, but I can't live without my Lumi Spa. That said, I've seen and received many common mistakes that people do while using the Lumi Spa. So I will go through the top five. Number one, not using a dedicated Lumi Spa cleanser. Now, I get this question a lot of time. People ask, can I use a uh, Lumi Spa with other types of cleansers? Um, the short answer is no, because the viscosity of the cleanser and the thickness of cleanser will affect the glide, the cushioning and cleansing effectiveness. If it's too thin, you will risk abrading your skin, all right? And if it's too thick, it will be too much of cushioning and will reduce the effectiveness of cleansing your face. And not to mention, if, there, if you're using other type of cleansers who has uh, some damaging chemicals, it may damage the treatment head of your Lumi Spa. Number two, not using the correct cleanser. Lumi Spa range has five types of cleanser the normal or combination type which is made up of a blend of finely selected algae and plant extracts like milk thistle oil to leave your skin feeling cleansed and refreshed together with the h lock blend that targets the visible signs of skin aging at the source for dry skin use a dry cleanser besides h lock blend it contains sodium lactate, sodium PCA, glycerin fructose, niacinamide, squalane, and inositol to help protect the skin's natural moisturizing factors and soothe the skin. The oily skin cleanser contains Japanese knot wheat to avoid excess oil buildup that leads to clogged pores and blackheads, and pomegranate extract antioxidants that leave your skin looking radiant, clean, and fresh. For sensitive skin, go for the sensitive cleanser because it contains extracts from oat and Chinese pine which softens and soothes the skin for the extra feeling of comfort. This is the gentlest formula, fragrance and essential oil free and has low foaming ability. Whereas for the blemish prone cleanser, it is a mild formula that contains 0.5% salicylic acid to help clear pores and reduce breakouts and plant extracts for the added antioxidants just like the sensitive cleanser this is also a low foaming cleanser fragrance and essential oil free cleanser number three not using the correct treatment head especially if you are acne prone and have sensitive skin please use the gentle treatment head now the gentle treatment head is really really soft and just like the name implies it is very gentle for the most sensitive skin so if you have acne and you have sensitive and you do not want to abrade your skin more please go for the gentle treatment head for the rest of the skin condition if you have oily if you have dry and if you have normal the normal treatment head is good enough. Now here's a quick tip, alright? I realize that the gentle head may not be sufficient to clean off all makeup residues, especially those thick 
waterproof makeups. So for those who has a gentle head and you wear makeup daily, I advise you to use a makeup remover or a micellar water prior to using your Lumi Spa. Mistake number four, not changing the treatment head often enough. This will result in a swollen silicone that will jam the movement of the head. All right, so it is advisable to change your treatment head every three months, just like our toothbrush. And finally, the fifth common mistake that people normally do using the Lumi Spa is not using a light, broad, linear strokes. Please don't press the Lumi Spa too hard on your skin or move too fast. You can't anyways due to the accelerometer in it. Lumi Spa is meant to be gentle on the skin like a spa. So gentle glide, soft, broad strokes is enough to give you a proper spa-like, clean facial cleansing experience. And that's it. I hope with this knowledge, you can enjoy your Lumi Spa to its fullest potential and enjoy a smoother, radiant looking skin. If you want to get one, there's an affiliate link below where I get a small commission for every successful purchase. Just click the link according to your country and it will lead you to a free sign up page. Once you have signed up, you are ready to purchase and I will be very grateful for your support. That's all for today and bye bye.